Okay, I'll call the meeting to order in uh, at nine o'clock. And we have everybody is here. Everybody's present, so that that helps. That's helpful. All right, first of all, I'd like to uh, add an item to the agenda. Number 19, we're adding a variance for the fence for, I think it's Six Fields Park. Item 19, all in favor? Aye. 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 It's unanimous. Item number one, approval of the agenda. I'll move to approve. All in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous. Item two, approval of the February 15 mi uh, meeting minutes. I move to approve. All in favor? Aye. 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 We're all very agreeable today. Okay, we have Moises here for uh, 40 North Point. So let's talk to him first. I'm sorry, which one, Dan? Uh, item number... Four and five. Four and five. Okay. On, on item number four, I'll move to deny as submitted. This was the outdoor kitchen. Which one? Uh, item four is the culvert. I've got that as the kitchen. For me, the, item four for me is the kitchen. Is that correct? Yeah. I guess they're different on the. Um... Oh, we might have made a clerical mistake and reversed them. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Okay. If it's, I, I'll move to um, deny. Yeah, for the culvert, I, I think um, we all agreed that um, that it doesn't look like a temporary structure. I mean, it doesn't look like a permanent kind of a culvert. It doesn't look good. It served its purpose. Um, and I think, um, Wayne, you said that it wasn't uh, designed to be a permanent structure? Nope. Is that correct? Okay. Yeah, it doesn't have an engineering stamp on it or document saying the the county accepts it as as part of the infrastructure. So uh, as, as it was intended, it's only temporary. And uh, if the construction is completed or the permit is ended, then the culvert needs to be, or temporary culvert needs to be removed. I think the um, the what what was your uh, what did you say, Jojean? We moved to deny. Um, I moved to deny as okay. submitted. Okay, second. All in favor? Wait yep. Wait, wait a second. All in favor? Do we, uh, yeah. Do we want to have some discussion from uh, Moses? You have something to add, Moses? Oh, uh, you know, I was just, uh, I, I realized it was a shot in the dark. Uh, we just wanted it for convenience to bring plants and uh, future to bring in mulch, you know, um, beauty bark and so forth. But sure. Hey, I, I understand you. Yeah, I, we... I understand. It's just, uh, you know, if I have to go through engineering again, I've paid enough already for everything that I've done. And it's just draining my pocketbook. Yeah, I understand. Know, if you did want to, um, have us look at it again uh, with a new one that that uh, is more structurally sound. We would review yeah. it, but um, it, it is discouraged. Yeah, um, no, and, and that's fine. I mean, like I said, it was a shot in the dark, and yeah, I'll, uh, yeah, I'll, I could see I'll, I could see the convenience of it. Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll pay to get it removed, and um, I'll start the process as uh, as soon as the um, the uh, the contractor could come and remove it for me. So that was put in just for your construction of the deck? Yeah, that's it was put in for the construction of the deck because okay. uh, I couldn't bring things down from the front of the house. Sure. The, the uh, yard is too steep. 
you know, and um, things wouldn't have been feasible. It would have cost uh, probably twice as much to move things from the front to the back. Yeah, yeah. So. All right. Well, that, was... that motion. I'm sorry. Uh, Wait a second. It was unanimous. Brett, you said you wanted to make a motion. Yes. Okay. Bookkeeping before you start with the next one. Do you want to finish with Moises and then yes. uh, go to the rest of the people that have joined? There are seven more people. Okay. Yes. We'll do the outdoor kitchen now. Um, and I, I think um, our concern was the roof. Um, could you tell us a little bit more about the roof? It's at one point, it looks like it's going to be cantilevered. Um, our yes. main concern was that we you maintain a consistent pitch on the roof. Yeah, we'll go keep the consistent pitch on the roof. I went to a structural engineer and also an environmental engineer to get everything drawn up and uh, make sure it was uh, uh, sound and, and, and strength enough. And uh, that was the uh, uh, engineer. And then I went to the environmental engineer to make sure it wouldn't environmentally impact anything. So, and they bought... Uh, uh, agreed that it wouldn't and um, you know the structure was drawn up uh, by the engineer that drew up the, the, the structure for the deck and that was approved by the county and everything so I'm just uh, you know um, I just want to protect the, the, the kitchen itself my items up there my barbecue pit and sure. my grill and my uh, my um, refrigerator you know, yeah, I'm that makes there. sense. So, it, uh, in your um, application, it says it will be cantilevered. Yes, um, it will be cantilevered. That, that suggests to me that you will be uh, attaching it to existing rafters, roof. or yeah, what does that uh -huh. mean? It'll be attached to the existing rafters on the uh, on the roof of the house. The main okay, house. so you're ex essentially extending the roof. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, our main concern was that you didn't introduce a, a different slope. With a no. different roof, no, no, it, it's gonna, uh, it's gonna be right on top of that roof, you know. Okay. Um, it's gonna be attached to the rafters. Uh, part of the strength. That's the reason why I went to the engineers, because I wanted to make sure that the winds and everything wouldn't uh, blow the roof off or impact my neighbors. Sure. In no way, you know. I, uh, I, I even talked to my neighbors, and. Uh, made sure that it wouldn't uh, the, obstruct your views or anything at all, you know? Yeah, that was one of the main things we looked at when we went to yeah. visit, and it looked like it it it, it wouldn't, or no, if yeah. it would, it would be very minimal. Yeah, and, no, because I, I I was with him, and uh, we sat, he went into his, uh, into his house and sat on his, you know, I, I went through the whole process. I, I really was very concerned about obstructing my, my neighbor's view, and I didn't, uh, I wouldn't have submitted anything if it, if it would have impacted his view, because I'm not that type of guy. I bought a view and I'd like to enjoy it, and so did sure. they, you know. And I'd like them to enjoy their view also. Well, so you'll probably have some big parties out there with your outdoor well, barbecue and kitchen. <laughs> well, uh, I tend to at least inaugurate the, the the deck and have a you know invite over the neighbors and whoever wants to come by and have a glass of wine or. A beer, they're always welcome to. I, I've always welcomed my neighbors, and I, I like to live in a neighborly place. So, okay. So, any other comments or any motion for this? I move to approve. Can I get a second? I'll second. I'll, I'll se yeah, with with comment that uh, the summit with uh, stamp drawings. Okay, so we need the stamp drawings with this. What what's uh, drawings do you need? Because I, I I have the one from the from both engineers with their uh, with their headers on it. What, was this drawing submitted previously with the submission for the deck? Um, it was submitted as a as a, um, as an outdoor kitchen. It was approved, you know. And where it was supposed to be was going to obstruct my neighbors. So I moved the kitchen farther south of the deck. So do we have an engineer draw, engineer's drawing of uh, the roof extension? 
Yeah, it's uh, it's submitted right there. Um, the the drawing has the little red dots on it. Are you, are, you, are, you, are we referring to the submission on the permit here for this meeting? Like, are we? Yeah. Am I looking at the one that you submitted? Yes, the one with the where, it has a it has some. So, where, so you didn't submit this to the county, did you? No, I just submitted the um, the uh, the deck to the county saying it'll be a there'll be an outdoor kitchen. So it's not the it's not the stamp approved drawings and yeah so why don't, why don't you uh, find those drawings and then and then submit it as the final and then we'll consider it. Well, submit it to who? Submit it to the office. Okay, well, I'm, so, I'm probably so Wayne, are you? Are you? Well, I don't, uh, I don't, I don't know what I'm, I'm approving. You guys are approving what? What are we? What are you asking us to approve here? Just the sketch. What I'm, what I'm asking to approve is just the, uh, the, um, the covering for the, for the uh, kitchen. Yeah, we understand what you want, but we need to have uh, something okay. official as okay. to what we're actually approving because this, the drawing doesn't look like it, it's not. <laughs> I don't think that's an engineer's drawing and it has okay, been so approved you... by the county. And I, I think this kind of structure would need to be approved by the county. And we, we need to see what the county sees. And if that's already been submitted previously, yeah, we could find that. But if, if we don't have the drawing for this extension, actually this, the drawing here does not suggest the cantilever of the roof that you suggested that you, you said it was an extension of the roof. The drawing well, I'm seeing yeah, here. It's just going to be on top of the roof. That's It'll not what this drawing looks like. Going up, you know. So what, what I'm seeing here is not what you described. Yeah, it's it's going to be right on top of the roof as, and it's going to come on the same pitch. It's not going to be uh, uh, joined on with the roof. It's going to be right on top on the same pitch of the roof. But I'm not. that's not what I'm seeing in the drawing. Hmm. There's a, I see a, I see an email that says, um, is this what you want the roof to look like? See attached. And that's not what you were describing to us. Yeah. The, it's, it's, it's sitting on top of the existing roof. That that's not a cantilevered like it, roof. It looks like it's cutting into the existing roof. So probably, probably be best that you get the proper drawings because it looks like a, a question and an inquiry that was unconfirmed so if i'm the engineer i wouldn't sign this either but um you need to answer the question that the engineer asked you is this what you are talking about and then obviously when you submit something for a permit you don't submit it like this right this okay. is not what an engineer would submit to the county this is a sure. an illustration to you to say are you okay with this illustration okay. and they will draw it up properly so that it can be submitted to permit because i don't see any loading i don't see materials i don't see what type of materials i don't see where you're gonna do the like cutting it like there's a lot of information missing like i get it from an illustration but uh this is for you and the engineer to talk right what the requirements are but to submit this and say this is what's going to be actual like how much material is going to be ripped off the original roof you, you talked about it's going to go over top the existing roof so um yeah there's a lot of information missing here so what once you if you already have it then just submit it all to diane then we'll then we'll consider it yeah okay, i think well, voices, voices essentially we we like the yeah. idea but we okay. don't see okay. what your we don't know what your design is because well, what you described to me is not what I see on the drawing. So if we can just get a explicit drawing about what you know what the engineer approved. Okay. Um, Here, here's the deal. I, I've paid enough to have engineers. So I think what I'm gonna do is do you guys have a problem with me just putting the kitchen on and forget about the roof? Um I, I don't think we do. I mean we could we could <laughs> See, at this point, we're, we would be approving, we would have to make comments to suggest that there would be no roof at all. Um, well, I think I, I, I would be okay with that. Um, and yeah, I think because, we're okay with the roof in concept, but we do need to see it. Yeah, I, and I understand that. But what's, what's up doing to me right now is 
I am I'm delaying this process because engineers aren't they, you know, um, there's another month or two before I get everything approved. And to me, I just want to get this, uh, the heart of the kitchen done, put my barbecue pit in, put my, sure. you know, my stuff in. And if it gets wet, then I got to buy a new thing. It, 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 that's just the way it is. I, I, I am, uh, you know, <laughs> I've spent enough and, and i I was just trying to do Well, I mean, this this has to be submitted to the county anyway, doesn't I, it? It has been submitted to the county. The the roof? The roof, no. The roof has been submitted just to you guys. Okay. Well, that, yeah, I, I, it's a little more complicated than that. I think the county has to see it, and then we have to see what the county approved. So um, I think, I think, so I think, Dan, what uh, uh, Moses is, is suggesting is that the kitchen was already submitted to the county. So I, I suspect we don't see it here, right? Like we don't know what you submitted, but uh, if you if you submit it into Diane and it, and it shows the, the fire chief's uh, inspection and it's passed fire code, um, then, then we'll accept it. But uh, you still need to submit the proper paperwork, right? Like for us to, to approve something, we're, we're not seeing what you submitted to the county either, right? Okay, so what I'm getting here, though, I'm still probably misunderstanding the whole thing. Forget about the roof part. I'm not worried about that. I just want to put in a barbecue pit, I put a countertop, and put a refrigerator in there. Do I have to submit that to the county and to the fire chief? Well, it's a fire risk, right? You, you don't want your deck to burn down, do you, or your neighbors Any... to get fire across the way, right? So I you have could a, get it inspected. I have a barbecue pit on it right now that I've used. Yeah, was it was it permitted? A charcoal barbecue pit needs to be some uh, permitted. Uh, it, you said it's a it's a pit, right? It's a bar. It's a charcoal uh, Weber grill, and yeah, then it's... what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a gas grill in there in in place. So Does that's that just. Have... Is it temporary or is it or is it permanent? Like there, there's two types, right? Like the the picture you sent was just a plain Weber barbecue that you could you could mo move around, right? So that one you don't need permitted. But if okay. you're putting something permanent, then yeah, it's got to so be who, permanent. Joel, Joel do you have anything to add to this? Is there any issue with the county as far as the kitchen or adding? Uh, I'm not familiar with. You know, if county would require a permit, sort of thing for an outdoor kitchen, um, and it might depend on, yeah, what he's putting in there. Uh, because it's on a on a deck, I think they might be more more interested. Um, I think there is. <clears throat> excuse me. It, look, it looks like it could be quite a load on on the deck. I mean, it's uh, it maybe similar to a hot tub. Is it? It, it seems yeah. like it would be an extra load. Yeah, and the deck is engineered for that. Okay, the deck is engineered for uh, all that load there you know, because it was uh, it was uh, uh, designed for that outdoor kitchen to be there, you know. So, and we have those drawings and approval from the county for yes. that load. Yes, the for the the whole kitchen for the whole deck and everything, it was approved by the by the county. Okay. So, 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 as far as I'm concerned, Dan, it looks like th those uh, appliances, right? Look, they don't look permanent necessarily. They just look fixed to uh, to a structure like cabinets or whatever, right? So that that doesn't need a permit, I don't think. But if you're trying to fix something, because I heard the words pit, fire pit, or charcoal. No, pit, yeah, no, I'm not putting in a pit. Uh, what what I meant is a barbecue pit, barbecue you grill, grill. Yeah, okay. Oh, thank you. The okay. Grill. They're appliances. Okay. There yeah. You go. Yeah. yeah. Appliances. Yeah, we're fine. That's fine. I just yeah, heard I... the word pit, so I thought it was permanent. No, Jean. Uh, no, Jean. Have, is there any electricity, or um, is it natural gas or propane for the uh, barbecue? I'm gonna put the natural gas because that's what I have. Okay, um, I think you probably need a uh, permit 
from the county for uh, moving the natural gas, but I'm not sure. Um, when I did some stuff, I had to get a permit both for the electricity and the natural gas. Well, it's probably just a tank, right? A little portable tank that is attached to it. Is that no, right? He said natural gas. Uh, no, I'm going to hook my natural gas to because I have natural gas here. Oh. So yeah, just... so he'll need a he'll need a gas permit for sure. Well, oh, man, this kitchen is getting more complicated. I think I'm going to scrap it, sell what I have, and and just. <laughs> well, I mean, it is. These are all safety measures. Uh, I, and I agree with you, but I mean, you know. I, I mean, I think we like the idea in concept, but there are some details that need to be worked out before it's approved. I mean, okay. when you start messing around with natural gas in Sudden Valley, um, yeah. it, sca it scares everybody in the whole neighborhood. If, even if you have a licensed uh, plumber to put it in? Well, they have to go get the permit. That's what we're saying. Yeah, that's yeah. yeah I mean, it's 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 not a big deal, but we do need to see that before yeah. because well, once once we say okay to this, I mean, our name is on it. We need to know what we actually approved, and we like professionals to review this before we we, we review it. All right. Well, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get uh, I get an electrical uh, guy to draw up the whole thing, and I'll get a. Uh, yeah, man, it the, seems like you're 95 percent of the way there um yeah. there are just a lot of boxes to be checked <laughs> off to make sure this is safe and legal well all right well tell don't me give up I... don't give up <laughs> we, we like the idea but man, yeah, there, I... there are some things we need to see okay. all right i'll tell you what tell me what i need i'll get it done i'll get it approved i'll pay whatever i have to pay i just need this thing done so please just Give me exactly what you guys need. So next time we have a meeting, I don't have to hold up again to get something else. So I need permit from the county. Yes. From county for a gas line and electrical. What else do I need? Well, we, we'd like to see an elect, uh, engineer's drawing of the actual roof as you suggested, okay. it's an extension of the roof now. Engineer drawing. Are you going? I don't think I'm going to put the roof on because that's just going to be uh, drawn out again with the county. The county took forever to answer just to build this deck. It took about six months for them to come back to me. So I think I'm going to scrap the roof air thing totally. You can and you can you can look at roof. temporary. Um... You can look at a temporary awning if you want. Like, is the intent just to block the rain? Like, are, are you just trying to block the rain? Yeah, I'm just trying to block the rain and protect my stuff out there when, you know, yep. you're in the way. But um, that's okay. I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, I'll deal with that. Um, yeah, I mean, I there there is a, I mean, there's a lot of heat coming off of that grill. I, I, I hope uh, whoever puts any kind of roof up there or awning knows how far to keep it from that. Yeah, well, yeah. Um, so, uh, what else do I need? I need uh, if I your, proceed. Your, your your minimum, it sounds like, if you're not going with the the added structure, is just just deal with your kitchen, right? Just you you get there's no there's no there's no jurisdiction that doesn't want a gas see a gas permit and an electrical permit. If you're adding those two types of services onto your deck mm -hmm. and and it's a change from the existing housing that that would be the minimum. Okay. Yep. And then you can get your project done, right? I mean, you can start having your barbecues. Okay. Yep. I don't All see right. anything else. Can't, can't we approve this uh, pending uh, receipt of the uh, contractors for the gas and the electric? Well, that's and, not what we're approving, right, Patrick? Like this, this is the the request for approval here is a structure. No, it's well, the grill, the kitchen, and it's going to require gas and electric, and he's going to have certified contractors put that in, who will then get permits that's required. And no roof structure, right? So I guess we we could approve with comments. Are you comfortable with that, Wayne? 
I'll, I'll, I'll abstain then. Hey, you know what? I, I don't want to put anybody in any uh, compromising position. And I do appreciate you guys. I think Wayne uh, um, is having a hard time with it. And um, let, let me just do the right thing. Um, let everybody has a warm and fuzzy feeling. And, um, you know, if I could do the kitchen, I will. Hopefully next time, if I bring all the permits, Wayne will feel a lot warm and fuzzier. And uh, then I could proceed with my project. Or if not, I just want you guys to let me know where I stand. If it's not going to be permitted, then I'll uh, sell what I have and I'll deal with the little that I I can to at least have a barbecue pit. Uh, well, well, like, like you, I uh, said, you, you're outside. almost there. There are permits yeah, but, that you need to get. And, you know, we'll all feel warm and fuzzy. I think you will, too, if you do it the right way. Well, I am. Um, and if you're not going to do the roof, I mean, this is this is a pretty simple thing to for us to approve. And it looks nice. Go with it. Just, you know, do it the right way. And it's not that complicated. Yeah, I, and that's what I want to do. I want to do it the right way. I just don't want to, you know, go go back and have to. So, so it sounds to me like, um, Wayne, you know more about this than I do, that, you know, if you got... Um, a permit to do the gas line we're good right other than the I, roof yeah no i i didn't say anything extra i just said yeah go get you know just send send uh send to diane at the office the the gas and the electrical permit and we're good to go you go ahead and build your outdoor kitchen we didn't say no to your appliances if to ask for here that's that's fine just send your gas permit and your uh, electrical permit the two services that you need to build your uh, outdoor kitchen that that's fine that's i'm not i'm not opposed to that so are you could you make a motion wayne with that with those okay, comments but I'm, I'm looking at the original submission here it's got a picture of uh, the roof so is there another submission here that i'm missing no, this, I think the roof and the kitchen are one submission. And we are um, amending the submission to not include a roof. Okay, so I'll make the motion that we approve the uh, kitchen appliances with the respect to receiving a gas and electric permit. And then we're denying the roof structure and wall structure. And what structure? The roof and what? The wall structure. Which wall? You've got on the red line here, you've got a wall. You've got a wall and you've got um, a roof line shown on the red here. I think so that, that might be, is that part of the um, counter space or is that an actual wall? That wall is just uh, part of the um, corner space that's going to be there. Okay. All is there second a... motion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. okay. Yeah, we just need to see those permits. And okay, I'll have you, you'll have a kitchen. I'll get the electrical permit and the gas permit and I'll hold on everything until your next meeting to hear whether I should proceed or not. Or... Well, I think if you have the permits to Diane, you can go ahead and proceed. Yeah, I think as soon as Diane sees that. Okay. All right. I'll uh, I'll get them to Diane as soon as I uh, as soon as possible. As soon as the county uh, approves them, which might be, I don't know when that's going to be, but that's uh, that's for me uh, to figure out. I do appreciate you guys' time. Um, thank you very much. I, uh, I'm a very wish. Well, well, thank you, Moises. Good, good, luck with that. good luck with your build. It looks like fun. Yeah, well, it's been <laughs> a lot of... It yeah. will be fun. The build might not be fun, but it'll be worth yeah. it. Plus the tag, the price tag that comes with it. <laughs> so anyway, thank you guys. Um, thank you. We'll submit that to Diane and you guys have a great rest of the week. Have a good weekend. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, take care. Bye-bye. Am I good to greet the other people? Yes. Okay.
Uh, Eric and Susan Youngman, could you tell us what address or item you're here for? Um, we're here uh, regarding 25 Stable Lane. Go ahead and mute, and we're going to go to the next person. I'm sorry, was Eric and who? Susan. Eric and Susan I'm Youngman. Eric. Uh, 16. 25 stable. Item 16. Yeah. Jane, are you here? I'm here. And what address are you here for? 13, 22 Marigold Drive, unit number 13. Um, item number seven. Uh, we're here. Eric and Susan Youngman are here. Correct. Go ahead and mute while we um, welcome the other people that came in after the meeting started. Oh, oh I see. Yeah. Okay, we okay. understand. Sorry. No problem. All right, Michael Geraldino. Hi. What address are you here for or item number? Michael, unmute. He may have stepped away. Nope. Okay. You there? Uh, hello. Hi, Hi, Michael. Sorry about that. <laughs> some some uh, technical difficulties. Uh, yeah. Hi, I'm here for 13 Spring Road, um, and then my uh, HVAC contractor um, Nolan Kovach is on the line as well. Let me find him. Nine. Nolan, go ahead and say hi so we know you're connected. Yes, I'm here. Can you hear me? Yes. Go ahead and mute again so we can keep going. All right. All right. Mr. Wonderful, I'm dying to know who you are. Uh, this is Parker Sutton, 12 Par Lane. <laughs> I should have guessed it was <laughs> you. <laughs> uh, just try to add a little humor to everyone's day once in a while, you know? Okay. Go ahead and mute and we'll get, get to you. And Paul Hansen. <clears throat> Go ahead and unmute. Hello, yes, I'm here. Okay, great. I think I've greeted everybody. I'm sorry, who is Nolan here for? Nolan is with, um, he's the contractor for um, 13 Spring. Okay. Item nine. HVAC. Oh, okay. <clears throat> and Paul Hansen is six field place. Oh, yeah. Okay. So there's a total of 10. We had someone leave who was here. I'm not sure what she was here for, but she was gone. So we, we've got nine attendees. So wow, we've got a party this, this week. Yep. Um, well, let's go to Mr. Wonderful. <laughs> Item six, Paul Parlane, landscaping. I'm... Yep. I'll move to approve as submitted. I already did. Oh, sorry. Come on, you guys, no fighting. <laughs> so Joe Jean to second. Okay. Um, any any other comments or anything before we uh, vote? All in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous. Have a wonderful day, Mr. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Enjoy the day. If you can hear me, I'm not sure how technology works. <laughs> we hear you. Oh, lovely. Enjoy the sun, everybody. Aye. Aye. Thanks. He was wonderful, wasn't he? My neighbor. <laughs> um, let's go with Jane. Item seven, 32 Marigold Drive. It's 22 Marigold Drive. 22 Marigold Drive, number 13. Um, looks like you, you want to put in a shed or you have a shed, you just want to re um, refurbish it? Yes, I have an existing shed. Um, what, what, does everybody have that same shed in your condo or how does that work? 
this is the original shed that was built with the condos. My neighbors have either expanded, um, like my neighbor at number 14, they have a shed that is probably two or three times larger than mine. Okay. So it's it's a standard design, you're saying? It, it came with the... Yes. Okay. My neighbor at number uh, 12, they have refurbished their shed, which is what I'm hoping to do. Yeah. Same size, just new. Now, is it customary to run the, this by your condo board also, or how does that work? Yes. Be because we do like to see that approval. I mean... They, I would think they would be step one and if they're okay with it, because, you know, if they deal with uh, um, consistency issues and maintaining, um, you know, they, they probably have rules that we're not even aware of within the condo. So it, we would like to see an approval from them, but, you know, anytime somebody refurbishing something, I think we're on board with that. Does your condo do all exterior things come under the condo? Dues. They they do not pay for that. No, that is a responsibility of the condo owner. Okay. And I submitted the application at the same time to both Sudden Valley and Integra, which is our condo association. They take a little longer than um, you do. Yeah. Yeah. Um... So nor normally, Dan, what we yeah. should be looking at is anything that's common. So if if it's touching, if the structure is touching, anything that's common, that they're okay with that, right? Like, so it meets whatever fire code, structural, um, and then also color of paint. Like, I, I wouldn't imagine you want to paint it some color that uh, is opposite to the rest of the, rest of the condominium. Um, for example, if you want to paint it red, for example, it would contravene or make it look kind of weird. But um, as far as uh the owner's property um yeah it's like it's fine so where 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 does that exist like where does this shed um come come in that context like is it common like what parts of the shed is common to the rest of the condominium um you mean with the properties on each side of me or well, I see. I see on your on your drawing, or at least the pictures show that you're sharing the backside of the of the shed is sharing with uh, the rest of the condominium, right? So if they're okay with that, then like you're just doing a straight replacement, right? Yeah, I'm not. I'm not modifying or expanding anything. I'm just replacing what is already existing there with newer material. Yeah, and you got and you got you put a new door. You painted it white. So is that is that cool with them? Like, do you have something that says, hey, you can paint the door any color you want? Like, we don't have a problem, but they may have a problem. Well, if my neighbor has done it and they've gotten that approved, then I don't know what would prevent me from doing that. Well, probably what would prevent you is you <laughs> probably send the application just like they did, right? So have, have you? Uh, yes, I have submitted the application. I did it, um, I think, the evening Sudden Valley's application I had sent into the ACC request email in the morning, and I think that in the evening um, I needed some extra information from my contractor, and I had submitted that the afternoon of the same day. I think it was the twenty eighth of February. Yeah, I think if it's a, I mean, it looks like consistent design. You're going to make it look like the neighbor's shed. Yes, it looks newer. Um, I think as long as the condo association is okay with it. I don't have a problem with it. It looks nice and certainly an improvement. Um, it looks like a, a consistent um, design, you know, same size. The only thing we would be concerned about is if suddenly it, you've got a red shed that's twice as no. big as everybody else's shed. So that would not be approved. They yes. have one consistent Sherwin Williams color that all the condos have to be painted. So no red, no red sheds. Okay. Any other comments? <laughs> Wayne, could you make a motion for this? Um, yeah, a motion to approve based on receiving condominium acceptance of the proposed shed. Can I get a second? I'll second. All in favor? 
Bye. Bye. Looks like we're unanimous. Okay. Uh, this is Jane. I will let my condo association know that all the pressure is on them. And Yeah, hopefully we've been pushing I... back on them for a few a few items. <laughs> We always yeah, like just... to get their approval and um they'll You're not they'll giving me hope. <laughs> no, they, they they always come through for you. I just we Okay. just like to dot our I's and cross our T's. Okay. We don't. But thank you. All right, I will let them know. And if I hear anything, I will let Diane know. Yes. All right, thank you. Thank you, Jane. Okay. How about Michael on item nine for 13 Spring Road, HVAC? Uh, yep. Okay. Yeah, we're uh, installing a mini split, or well, we want to install a mini split system into the house. Okay. Yeah, our only concern was how this would be hidden because it is pretty prominent right there in front of the house. Well, the the heat pump is going um, over around the corner, and that Right. would be hidden by a, a small deck we have jutting out. Mm -hmm. um, the only thing that would be on the front there is the little bit of plastic that needs to cover um, the refrigerant lines, um, which the plan would be to paint that the same same color as the shingling to blend that in. Oh, so it would just, there would be no unit at all in the front. Just, No, 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 just no, that's line, in the back. just line. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I, I thought there was going to be some, some unit in the back and then you had to have something else in the front. Um, any comments, team? I move to approve. Can I get a second? I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous. Thank you. Thanks. Item 13, Paul. Good morning. Good morning. I think we spoke to you. Yes. And you submitted your variance as we requested. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I worked with Diane on that. Thank you. She's great, isn't she? Yeah. I move to approve. Uh, well, we're going to talk about um, what he, he offered several different variations. Do you want to talk about that at all? For the top of the fence? Um, yeah. Are you talking to me? Sorry. Uh, I was just opening up for discussion. Oh, okay, great. Yeah, I know there's a variety of, uh, there's a, a few things on the table there. So whichever uh, direction you'd like for me to go. Yeah, I think our, our privacy screens are generally um, six feet high, and I think it's generally uh, one panel. Yes. And you want to go beyond that um, to, how many panels were you proposing here? Um, I'm proposing at least three. Okay, and that's, okay. So the 48 feet would be how many? Uh, that would be it, three of the six panels. Okay. Sub, seven panels, sorry. And does anybody have a preference as to how they top? Uh, I have a question. Okay. Um, this fence is going to go from the... This, the whole side of the the house from the beginning of the house to the end of the house um nearly yes and how many panels is that going to be uh seven panels i believe and they're, all, they're all solid wood uh no we're talking about the uh the top foot of however high it is would be of the wire no i'm talking about the um 
the ones that are six feet tall are they solid wood uh, it would be wood for the for five feet of that and then the wire for the last uh, so in essence it's a solid wood from the beginning of the house to the end of the house the se seven panels are solid wood with no gap between them oh oh i see i, I apologize i didn't understand what you're uh, what you meant um the proposal is for no gap in between but uh we can put a gap if that's needed well solid wood fencing is discouraged um with most situations within so sudden valley so i would okay. vote to deny this fence if that's what you have in mind uh how much of a well, gap we, is needed between? Well, well we can amend it before we actually vote on oh. this well, I'm, I was just stating a fan. Okay. Um, I think um, it, it's supposed to be one, and I thought at one point you said three would be sufficient. Is yes. that correct? Yes. Um, at And all the wood would be five feet high, and then another further foot that would be mesh or possibly wood, you're, you're saying, right? Um, I, I think the, the proposal is for the, the hog wire. Okay. Uh, and I have another proposal if that doesn't pass to that we could do it with the lattice instead with wood lattice okay so Dan Daniel the uh, the the spec in the in the ACC manual this is back black decorative so if if the top half can be black decorative then it would meet that um, and a privacy fence is not a full length fence, right? It's just a panel. And posed here, if I look at the application, the original application, wood and wire privacy. So privacy to me just means like one six by five, I think here. And I see, I see in the uh, diagram, uh, it's actually a fence, not a privacy. So which which is it? Is it for privacy or is it a fence? Because if it's a if it's a fence, then we're back to the black decorative, and it can't be over six feet, right? And it can't be the whole length of the uh, the prop. It's just it's temporary, up. yeah. Like uh, like it would be open at either end. But what, so what, what I I I what I'm interpreting here is that this is a privacy issue, so it is a privacy fence. And it is a variance to ask for more than one of these, which, again, in my mind, this is sort of a, a dead space between properties. I don't have a huge issue with um, extending this further than one panel. Um, that would, I think, one panel might not quite cover exactly as much as he'd want to. I don't have an issue with extending it beyond one. Um, I don't know how the rest of you feel. Yeah, one panel is it just looks strange to have one panel just sticking out there. You yeah, know? that's generally to cover maybe a hot tub or somebody's trampoline, but that's and I can't see a lot of uh movement of wildlife between these two properties. So I don't think it's really inhibiting that. Um and the space is already kind of a shady area, nothing's going on. I think. The neighbors, unfortunately, they're so close together, um, they're going to want a little privacy from each other, and maybe they both want it. To, they don't want to see each other. The I think the houses are what twelve feet apart. Yeah, yeah, twelve feet. Yeah, so a black decorative, black decorative fence should be adhered to then, right? Uh, for the top. Well, if you read if you read the manual, right, that's what it calls for. Uh, for a, an extended fence, it does, yes. This would be a variance if we offered this. Oh, I see. So that's what's being requested. Yeah, that, yeah look at the variance that was submitted with this. Okay, I'm looking at the original. That's why. Okay. <clears throat> and this, this would be unusual. We don't see this in Sudden Valley very often. And this would be a variance, and we always look at each individual property on its own merits. 
So anything that we would consider here would not necessarily apply to anyone else. But I want our team to feel comfortable with yeah. what the variance is because it's, it's a big variance. Joe Jean? If he's going to have three um, panels in the center, is he still going to have shorter ones to go? The three panels aren't going to be the whole length of his house. So he wants well, I, I, shorter ones on either side of the three panels. And those are all solid wood. There are only, um, at my house, I only have 10 feet between my house and my neighbors. And that's generally how it goes in Sudden Valley. And if everybody puts a solid wood fence there, even though it's open on each end, it's gonna look pretty bizarre. And he only has one window on that side. And this fence doesn't go past the end of his house. So it's not going to block anything from his neighbor's backyard. Anyways, I'm totally opposed to this. So uh, you guys, Dojean, how would you feel about three, just three panels instead of? Well, I think he's asking for seven. If we did just, three. Uh, I, I th I'm sorry, I miscounted it. Six, six. Yeah. What if we did three, um, right in the center there? At, at the height of five feet plus the hog wire at the top. Would you feel okay with that? I'd be more agreeable to that, but yeah, I would feel more comfortable with that myself. Like are what like are we trying to block the deer? Oh no. No. <laughs> it's, on either side. it's open. Yeah, I don't think it would block we, anything. We all we all we all live in the same environment, right? I I I'm like Joe Jean, right? Like my neighbor is whatever. I didn't put a fence either, but I, I, I see deer just ripping through it. So even if it is five feet or six feet, they're going to get through it. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I believe this fence is to block the view of his bathroom window to the window on the house next door. And one privacy screen in front of that window would do that. And it, it, it's it's for dual purpose. It's for uh, visual um, for those windows, but also um, just access. It's a it's an open open space. Uh, I, I do have another proposal that's not on there. Um, the other three panels that are not for the um, the visual privacy. If those were all the decorative black wire and with no wood, would that be uh, more acceptable? I, I would be open because it meets the the standard, right? And most well, and most most fences today that are are achieving that same goal, right? Like you, you want to separate between um, your neighbor or your your the adjacent lot, um, and that would keep wildlife out as well. This fence isn't going to keep wildlife out. That's not the yeah. Hey, there's they can run that's... on side of the fence. Yeah, I, I don't think it would impede wildlife um, pathways yeah, but, at all. But we're, meeting, but we're meeting the manual, yes. which is typical of, of most Southern Valley fences that are coming before us, right? This is a this is a totally brand new fence. <laughs> it's like that, that's why we're having troubles with it. Right. So right. so, so could you re-describe that fence that you just proposed, Paul? Yes, yes. Uh, so the of the six panels uh, on the drawing, the one that are listed at five feet, uh, the two at the back and the one at the front, those would be with the um, the black decorative wire and five feet tall. Uh, still proposing the uh, the six foot middle three panels with five feet for wood and the top being for the decorative wire. So it'd be five panels total, two of which would be the hog wire. Uh, six panels total. Six panels. So four of, I'm uh, sorry, which one would be the hog wire? Two or three of the, them? Uh, three altogether. Okay. Um, so Dan, I'm, I'm looking at the, the original sketch here, mm -hmm. and it looks like you're really only, well, I see the, I see the, 
I see the the windows. Why 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 do you need three? Like just put one, and then then um, then the others can be just the regular black mesh. Because if you're only talking about the window for for privacy, then you only really need one panel, and then the rest could be just black decorative. Then I'd be okay with that because then you're achieving your your privacy, right? Just just center your your panel to be a, you know directly a opposite of your window because the way you drew it is it looks like you can fit it onto one panel the sight line um that we're yep. trying to um, achieve look, is yep. both for the window and for the driveway does that show on the drawing you're okay i, 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 I remember were, that from our, our visit, visit. There's a dotted line that says sight line range into bathroom. And it shows it from the driveway and right across from the house. I I, I see that, but the, the original intent here is privacy from the window, right? And yeah. the front of the house. Well now now we're saying and the house. Well or, that's what the that's what the two sight lines I'm seeing. Line is from the house and as well from the driveway. You can see where the dotted line is. That shows where the sight line is. Okay, so that's so that's two panels. Why do you need three? No, it's three to cover it. If you look at the drawing. So it's a it's a it's um it's a it's a arc, right? It's an arced sight line that you're trying to block or get privacy. Not yes. not just yes. the sight lines, because I, I read it as sight lines. You just want those two points of view or perspectives. Yes, um, I'm sorry, I misspoke. That is an arc. So now you want an arc. Okay. <clears throat> so that's why you need three panels to cover the entire arc. Yes. I, I think the solution of the three solid panels and the three hog wire would look fine. I think it would look good. I think it would achieve his uh, objective. It's it is a variance. This is very unusual. Uh, but I think this is an unusual situation. I would be okay with it. Um, I'm fine with it. Joe Jean? I, Sounds I, like a compromise. I, um, I can still vote no. So you guys make a motion and I'll vote however I want. It just looks weird, Dan. That's all. Okay. Um, that what would not look weird? I'm looking for a solution here. Okay, so offset off. I, I would stagger. I wouldn't join the panels necessarily. Like overlap the center one. Like if if your intent is to, yeah, I just it just looks weird. That's all. Um, but if he's fine with it, it's his property, his fence. Well, it's it's he's not really oh, Patrick. Patrick, it's also on the property. It's not, it's not just his side, right? Like, um, if you if were, it looking, were just him, it, it wouldn't matter. But it's everybody. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, if I'm the neighbor next door, I'd probably want to say too, right? You'd want what? I'd want to say. I say well. yeah, 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 because it affects my property value too, right? Uh, uh, definitely. Is there, yeah, is there a, a change to the design that would be less odd for you? I, I realize we're trying to, um, and by we, I mean uh, uh, us, my, myself, uh, we're yeah, trying to which, achieve which, a few which, different goals. And if we're trying to achieve too many goals here, if it's, uh, I, I'm, I'm not sure what I can do to, I guess my well, question to you is what, what would you like to see? Well, the, the first thing that's missing here in all this discussion is, um, do you have an email from uh, any of your proposed solutions saying they prefer? Like, do you have an email from your neighbor saying they're okay with it? No, I'm sorry. It was a, it was a verbal uh, conversation that we had about it. And at that point, we didn't, it, the design has changed since the beginning. So I don't, I have, they approved the concept of it. And as far as the details of it, we, we haven't even settled that ourselves with you. So, um, I can't, I don't know. Yeah. So we'll, we'll, we yeah. can make a motion based on the one that everybody's leaning to, right. And, and make sure before it gets final that the neighbor's okay with it. Like once oh, okay. that's done, yeah. 
for well, good. Paul, Paul had spoken to his neighbor and they agreed to it. And then he started on the fence, not realizing that he had to put in a fence request. So he did that after the fact. Is that Didn't correct? he also say that the neighbor doesn't live there anymore? That the house is sitting empty? But it but it doesn't matter, Jojean. The fact is we don't have well, the proof. We're making decisions on behalf of the neighbor. So I, I'm uncomfortable with that. So I, I would say go with the whatever your panels and then go get the neighbor's email sent to Diane at the office, and then we're good, right? But I, I can't make the decision here because there's no proof the neighbor's okay. I, I'd hate to make a decision and then have the neighbor rebuke it, right? And then come back and say, hey, we never agreed to this. Yeah, yeah, I can see your position. That I, I can understand that. Yeah, especially uh, since this is, is a, a variance that is very unusual. Um, and I understand my team's uh, reluctance to just approve this because, you know, there will be pushback because this is a variance and variance is always raise red flags, and I understand your need for it. Um, I think we could meet somewhere and get to some privacy for you. Um, okay. It sounds like the hog wire is essentially just sort of a delineation more than a privacy thing, unless you're putting, uh, planting, is your intent to plant? A uh, big that? spiky plants? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, so it, it's so more the, of a delineation. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, so... I have a, another question. Go ahead, Joji. Is the variance um, to allow it on the property line? Uh, the variance is to, I think it is to, is it both the property line and the inclusion of extra panels? Let's say. Yes. And um, we're, we're, Putting it inside the property line, I realize it's supposed to be a five foot offset, but uh, oh, you understand that's not possible in this space. So, even though it's a, another item on our list, I think you couldn't do one without the other. Yeah. <laughs> so, but this is this, if we approve anything for the fence, this would just be sort of a to make it official that we were aware of that variance. Right, right. Um, in that we have given, um, only two or three feet variances for fences like this at other places. So we don't have to uh, approve the variance to give them a five foot variance so I can put it on the property line. We could give them a two foot where I could put it three feet from his house or something like that. Anyways, you guys, you. <laughs> Well, this is a bit of a dilemma because that you know to put I something think... right on the property line that does affect the neighbor's house probably their property value um that does get complicated even even though you've got approval from this neighbor it uh it doesn't <laughs> live there yeah I, i'm trying to think of what would satisfy everyone here and from this discussion, I'm not sure what it is. I certainly understand your need for privacy. Um, and I'm not, I, I'm not sure if we can advise what we would approve at this point. It sounds like fewer panels than six. Um, I'm not sure if everybody would be okay with the, this on the property line or not. Oh. The posts that are in now, are they on the property line or inside your property line? They're inside the property line. Okay. Oh, so they're How not much, right on they're uh, not right on the border. No, no, they're not. Okay. How far off the property line were they? Uh I, I don't I'm sorry, I don't have an exact measurement. I believe we were going for say about six inches. <laughs> yeah, they weren't they weren't surveyed when we went there. Um so, so why, why don't we uh, defer this? Um, we will or, defer. Or actually, yeah, we, we would deny as submitted and then. Vote motion denied as submitted. I'll vote for that. 
<laughs> but then, yeah, so the notes are, is uh, uh, applicate or applicant to go, I guess, to go get uh, approval of the three panels from the neighbor and then show on a, on a picture how, how this is going to look and make sure the neighbor is good with that. And then uh, we can consider this application again. So then the variance you would ask for would be whatever needs, that needs to that, be two feet from the property line. I, I, I can't approve it right on the line either. Okay. Right? It just contravenes everything. Okay. So two two feet into our property line or two feet onto our property from the line. Yeah. So the outermost part of your structure. Line. So that's a post two feet from property line. Go get it surveyed, I guess, is probably the easiest. Yeah, it, well, it it was surveyed, or not surveyed, but we had the the property line um, delineated when we had the when the initial posts went in. Um, four feet from our house will be unusable space. So we we can't we can't even. It's perhaps a bare walk in between, but we're looking for something that's. Um, splits the difference and, and is aesthetically pleasing on and usable on both sides. Then you're back to the black decorative uh, fence, then, which is yeah, not. Yeah. Like... Uh, it, it, and if it's a, <laughs> I, I guess the other, um, the the things that we're proposing for privacy are there, and then also, uh, I, and I'm sorry, I don't understand the the difference between privacy and function. Um, if it's a, strictly a delineation. Um, we'd be fine putting in a five foot decorative wire for the length of it and no solid wood. Um, but you're you're asking for a variance right to the property line, right? Yes, that uh, I don't think that could change. Yeah, that that's a hard that's a hard variance. It's a hard variance to approve because nobody's really asked for that. Uh, even with approval for the neighbor, that's it's 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 a it's a question of you know you're you're encroaching on the on the property line right and uh, the fact that you've got a fixed structure in there uh, also impacts it right. So as as it stands, it is six inches away from the property line. Is that correct? Yes just so that the whole structure would be on your property, but it would be butted up against the property line. Right, but it'll be on our side. And that would enable him to have room to walk between the fence and the side of his house. And I think aesthetically, it would be more pleasing to have that sort of space even on either side and not look like an awkward space is created between the houses, my opinion. Um, I, I think the length of it, because of the variance and what, what you're asking for, the, the total length probably could never happen just because of the nature of it. But I think what I'm reading from my team is they'd be more accepting of it if it were definitely inside on your property and maybe three panels. I can't speak for everybody, but that's kind of what I'm reading in it. And it would, I mean, it seems like the biggest reason you're having this is because you want some privacy. So privacy panels are definitely the way to go, in my mind. Um, but I'm not sure what the rest of my team could accept as far as how many of these panels there would be. What, what, if, what if we did this, Dan, is go ahead, put your privacy panels, but it's going to be abutted to your side of the house. So you can go six inches from your house and put those privacy panels and then go with the decorative uh, mesh. Six the inches from the house? Well, if all you want is the privacy, right? You'll get the privacy if you block it from your window and yeah. Uh, that would look a little strange in my mind. Well, yeah. the problem is is the, is the, is the, is the setbacks, right? Yeah. yeah. Like we're, we're, we're contravening the setback rule here, right? So, you know, if I bought this house in the future, right, I probably want to know who's who's got all these variances, right? 
Yeah. Is this going to be recorded in on your on your property when you sell it, right? Or deed it or whatever, right? But the thing is it's contravening this five foot setback. So it's it's a it's a question of of meeting the county rules too, right? It is, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm 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 uncomfortable as it is. Uh if that's if that can't be uh, accepted that they move it two feet from their property line, then yeah, I I can't I can't make a make a motion on that. Okay, so uh, <laughs> I'm not sure if you can glean anything from this. It it sounds like we're gonna deny as submitted, but I wanted to give you a little something to, <laughs> for your next submission. I'm not reading enough out of this to tell him what we could possibly approve. Um, it sounds like the variance of six inches is not enough for the rest of the team from the property line. I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, Patrick. I'm okay with it, six inches. I think it'll look better that way than to have it, you know, any shorter distance from the house. Uh, yeah, that's how I feel too. As long as it is, the structure is all on your side. And this is, again, this is a real big variance to ask for because this just doesn't happen. I can understand your need for it, but it is, uh, it would be an outlier in our neighborhood. And that's, I, I think that's why there's the hesitation with Joe Jean and Wayne. I, I'd be okay, Dan, if this was all temporary, but it's, it's going to be permanent, right? I mean, that. I mean, you can put whatever panels, screens, whatever you want, um, you know, fabric, whatever, temporarily. I mean, that that wouldn't bother me, right? Um, but if you want this permit, that that's that's what we're facing here. Is we're we're accepting something that's way beyond our our ability to accept a setback of less than you know five feet, right? How would you feel if um, there were three privacy panels? staggered so that they're not one continuous wall and say two on the outside or one in the middle is like the overlap right yeah much closer to the house I, i'd be okay if if the posts weren't so permanent like if they were just stakes in the ground and you just pounded the stakes and it was temporary I, i'd be fine but the fact that this is a permanent structure um you could stagger them um you could still achieve your whatever, but it, it's got to be submitted as temporary, right? Because otherwise, you know, now we're now we're telling the county, say, hey, we're accepting something that's permanent within the five foot setback, and we're accepting it right to the property line. That that just that's hard to to swallow, right? Okay. Um, so may come back with the temporary, then then we're then we can move forward, but. This is permanent, right? Yeah, Paul, you don't want this to be temporary, do you? No, no. So that's out of the question. It's going to be permanent. It's, what will we allow him to do? I mean, as permanent as anything is, anything can be removed, right? Right. Chainsaw will be down in 30 seconds. <laughs> um, Wayne, is your biggest concern the variance of the it's the a five foot variance the it's setback a variance we, we are now we are now doing the job we're, we're now land like um uh, we're, we're doing we're doing land assessments here now right so i would i would go i mean if you if you really want uh make me feel comfortable show show me that, that whatcom county is accepting this right I, I don't see it anywhere like the it's clear it's got to be a five foot setback right like I don't uh, uh, we're, we're changing changing the bylaw here right okay well it, it Paul <laughs> I hope you can glean something from this there are a lot of different opinions here uh, it looks like a county permit for your what you're um, proposing would get you a long way to what you want from us um but that's as far as I can go. It sounds like we are making a motion. I, I think Joe Jean already made a motion to deny as, um, as submitted. Is that correct? Um, Joe Jean, did yes, you make I, a motion? 
I would make that motion. Okay. Can I get a second? Yeah, Wayne, a second. All right. All in favor of denying as submitted. Um, aye. Aye. That's both items. I oppose. Okay. Yeah, I guess that would be both items because they're so tied together. Item 13 and item 19. And that would be majority with uh, yes. Patrick opposed? Yes. All right. Uh, thank you for your consideration. I I don't I, I don't have a clear path forward on what to do now. Um, yeah, I, 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 you know, you're going to go through this with the county, too. So maybe submit something to them and maybe that will help us approve it. Well, okay. if the county approves it with the three six foot sections and then the hog wire on either end. Would we approve it? Wayne, would you approve that? If the, if they're going to accept it, and then we would have to change our ACC manual as well now, right? So you, we'll manual. have to live with that variance. And well, then this was, a, the variance, a variance is a variance. It doesn't yep. mean that's the new rule. This um, We consider each property on its own merits. Um, and that's that's why we're having so much hesitation because you know, it is a variance and we don't just hand them out. But that doesn't necessarily mean that we need to change our policies. Yeah, as a variance um, request, but yeah, I, I guess I don't understand what the uh, significance of a variance request is uh, if we're if it's not approved because it's not following the rules. But that's what the re variance request is. You're, you're going to need two. You're going to need two variances here, right? Because you, what you're asking is something that also impacts the county, and it also impacts the Southern Valley ACC manual, right, or policy. And then you're also affecting your neighbor. So uh, you need three things at this point. So okay. I, I, I would say you're since you already, like Patrick said, you already verbally got the okay from the neighbor. You just need a drawing that shows how's it going to look. And then show the vantage point of the of the visual, like looking at the top down. I I, I get it now. It's a it's a visual visual arc that you're trying to get privacy. And the second thing is what you haven't shown is the full length of the uh, of the illustration. And then once you do that, then you show it to your county and you show it to the neighbor. And once you're good with that, then we'll consider it. Okay. Um, but we'll be the I guess we'll, we'll be considerate of the rest of Sutton Valley, but the county's got to accept the fact that you're encroaching the the setback guidance, right? Like there, there's like like if you just put a temporary, I I don't think they'd have a problem. I don't have a problem. I just said that already that I don't have a problem if it's temporary. But you're you're proposing like it's as a structure of your home, right? Within the five foot variance, like if we accept this that means everybody else is going to start doing it right wayne, i would love to. wayne what would you consider a temporary fence just stakes in the ground like not full length like it's just doing what it's supposed to be doing it's a it's a privacy panel right like i'm blocking the window of my view to my neighbors right I, quite frankly my house like I, I, I can't do enough justice with a six foot fence, right? I need probably 25 feet to block the, the view of me staring in the, my neighbor's window, right? Mm. So I, I can see where this is going. If you, if we approve this, then yeah, I'm going to go apply for mine too. I'm going to put 25 feet. <laughs> it's like, so what's the stop the neighbor staring into the other one. So they're going to put another structure in between, right? I, I can see where this is going to go. Yeah, that's all. Uh, if it wasn't a, and I'm just talking theoretical hypotheticals here. If this, if the privacy viewpoint was taken out of the equation, would that change the considerations at all? You, like, you still are, you're still requesting a permit structure. Right? Uh, I mean, for the height, for the height of it. Nope, the height's fine. It's like okay, the, we're not height. You're meeting everything like a fence should be, right? At six. And um, 
the the issue is it's it's permanent and and, and you're encroaching on the five foot setback. So you know, once once the county approves it, then and and then the ACC approves it, and your neighbor's good with it. I can see where everybody's starting to get to put their own fence in between now. What what? And I'm sorry to uh, repeat uh, Daniel's question. I'm not sure what the answer is. Uh, what would constitute a temporary structure? Put a put a stake in the ground. That's temporary. Like, is, is are your posts uh, a poured in concrete foundation? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So that's permanent. Like if you just drove a bunch of wood in there and then you just just lined it with hog hog wire or chicken wire across, uh, that's pretty temporary. Like that's what construction folks do. Yeah, but and that that, 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 that wouldn't work either. I mean, that's just that would <laughs> that's not a solution. No, but it is it is by definition temporary down. That's all. Yeah. Um, but if you just wanted to run a fence down the center like that. And it's not considered a privacy fence. It has to be five foot high is the max. Sure. Yeah. yeah I mean, hog wire. Do it is you've got you've got two ends, right? Uh, if you look at look at the golf course, right? They if they if you want to run privacy or whatever or construction, um, and you can go to any construction site, you can see they they can run pretty pretty acceptable uh, green green fences that has you know. Uh, design on it and it's it's pretty private and you can run them you know just run end to end you don't even need posts you just need posts on either end and you can just run it that's temporary well that's i mean that's more for um seasonally keeping deer out of your yard or something i don't really yeah. see that yeah exactly yeah but yeah anything permanent you know something temporary around one tree is something you could do without ACC approval, but even if he did this temporary fence, which I don't think is the solution you're looking for, um, that would have to be run by us too. And is there a, a permanent fence of any sort that can go? Um, that's I, and I'm not familiar with the Whatcom County um, uh, property line variants. Is there any kind of uh, structure or fence that can go inside the property line without going five um, five feet in? I don't know. That would be a variance. Nope. Any Always permanent been. structure you would, would require a variance. Okay. Uh, yeah, Whatcom County, in my experience, probably we would allow a fence on a property line like that. Um, and it, uh, if you don't have a fence that's over seven feet high, um, it's exempt from needing a permit. So I don't know. So obtaining Whatcom County approval should be pretty, pretty I think, pretty simple. If that's what you want to propose. Uh, thank you for that, Joel. I'm sorry you, you cut out just a little bit. Could you please repeat that? Uh, if you uh, a fence that's under seven feet is exempt from a permit from Walking County, to the best of my knowledge. Okay. Um, seven seven feet tall or seven feet seven long. Feet. Yeah, fence is not over seven feet high are exempt from permits from the building permit is there a variance required on the boundary of the property line uh, i'm not i'm not certain okay. yeah i'd be curious what, what they would say about that property line variance it seems like that's the big sticking point here yeah, I've never actually heard of that before. Yeah, for for us, any permanent structure has to be five feet in from the border on either side, and from the front, it has to be 20 feet. Okay. So uh, I would need to contact for a permanent structure and a fence of any size um, that would be less than five feet from the property line. I need to contact 
Whatcom County for a variance approval for that? I believe so, yes. That, and that's what we'd like to see. Okay. Um, do they also need the, do I need to get a um, permission from them on the design or just for the property line? I think that's more of a SVCA thing. Joel, do you know? Yeah, I, I can't, I can't speak to everything for county, but I can't imagine they'd have any design issues. Um, that's all just a Sudden Valley, Sudden Valley eyes on design. Um, yeah, I don't think so. Well, I hope that helps you, Paul. <laughs> At least you know how everybody feels. Uh, there's no real consensus, but you've heard a lot of opinions. And I <laughs> I wish you well with this, and maybe we'll see you again. <laughs> uh, it could be. I, I might be worn down enough. I might not resubmit, but we'll uh, we'll see what I can navigate on at my end. Thank you all for your time on this. I uh, the the time that you guys put into this cannot be underestimated or undervalued. So thank you all for your time. Thank you, Paul. Yeah. Daniel, we've had somebody else join. Oh, okay. wow. Liz, uh, can you tell us what you're here? Which uh, I know you're here for. need to unmute. <clears throat> it's Liz Helmseth. She may have stepped away. Okay. I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. Liz Helmseth? Yeah. Yeah, she didn't, she's not responding, so. Oh, I oh okay. Yeah. I thought I saw that name here somewhere. Yeah, she's here, but she's. I mean, in the in the agenda. Uh, John John Helmseth is our um, contractor, and uh, Liz is his wife. Um, he may be trying to join. Maybe she is. I'm not sure. I think he had to go to a doctor appointment, and then unfortunately, uh, so do I down in Seattle. So we will want to come back. Um, and we're going to submit additional uh, requests as well. Yeah. Because of the sizing of our foundation, which aligns with this current um, request. Um, this is, which item is this? This is 25 Stable Lane. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, you're the neighbors, right? Uh, we are actually the uh, oh, owners okay. intending okay. to build. Okay. So are you withdrawing the? Just until next session, we're going to get our ducks lined up and okay. come back and meet with you guys in the next session. Thank you for your time. I'm sorry we can't sit in longer. Yeah, I okay. have to get down to Seattle for our doctor appointment. And we were just seeing uh, what the take was on who was going to be seen first and whatnot and see. What okay. Was yeah, I'm sorry. We could have gotten to you sooner. Oh, no, that's okay. Everyone's important. Okay. All right. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. See you next time. Thanks. Bye. So I was saying, who was Liz for? Was Liz with them? She, yeah, she's the okay. she was representing okay. the builder. So we're removing item sixteen. Yes. Okay. How do we do that officially? We just. I'm just going to say it was removed on the minutes. So we still have um, Hans and Jay. Yep. That's it. Yep. Okay. Well, let's do Jay. Looks like um, paint and extension approval. Yeah. How are you guys? You good? How are you doing? Doing pretty well. All right. Let's look at the paint. Any comments on the paint, anybody? Uh, 
I think we like the paint. Cool. Can I get a motion? Motion to approve. I second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Which one are we moving on? What item? This is, I'm sorry, this is item 17. 21 lost fork. This is, that was for the change paint, construction change for the paint color. Okay. Are you in favor, Patrick? Yes. Okay, unanimous. Item 18, extension and reapproval. Ooh, hey guys, can I um, back up really quick? I didn't, um, I don't know if you saw, but there is also, it's paint, but it's also the current siding. Just want to make sure you guys are okay with that too. Um, did you, I don't know if you saw that on the sheet. Yeah. Okay, cool. So it's the siding's the good too. Yeah. 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 Okay, perfect. Okay, great. Thank you. Um, sorry, proceed. Okay. <laughs> All right. The next one is uh, item... 18 for the extension and reapproval for this uh, 21 lost fork. It looks like, what what was the situation with uh, applying for an extension on this one? It looks like there was a gap. A uh, gap, um, there's a bit of a gap. I've got a pretty robust timeline that I submitted as well by email that kind of um, tells the story. Um, yeah, there is a pretty big gap in it, but I was, tr I, I tried to be as, uh, mm, what you say, as uh, complete as I could with kind of spelling out uh, what, um, what delays have led up to the point where we're asking for a, uh, an extension at all. Mm -hmm. um, so you guys should have that in the email um, yes, yeah. that I included. Uh, but yeah, we've got some gaps. I guess what I'd like to focus on is um, we were just able to uh, reach approval with the county um, for um, necessary inspections for us to get um, extended, which is six months. And we have a new expiration date of, um, yeah, about six months from now, that would make it um, 821, I think is what uh, the county is good for. And uh, we should have absolutely no issues wrapping this up. We've got a ton of progress over there and it's been uh, it's been pretty full steam ahead for us on that project. I am personally very, very motivated to get this one done for sure. Okay, you started in July of 21. Oh yes. Yeah. And, you know, that being said, um, I came into this project uh, only in um, a little a little late to the game. So um, but since uh, Sovereign Homes has acquired this property, um, it's been full steam ahead. We've got a ton done, um, even with the complications that were that we were up against, um, we were able to make great progress. And um, I think we probably made the most progress in the last three to four weeks, I would say, than we have the whole way along. So it's been okay. looking really good. So it looks like um, you're asking for an extension, uh, your second extension request starting um, today for six months. So this yeah, would be your, we, se your second extension. For six months. Um, so the motion is to um, approve this extension for six months from today's date. Can I get a second? Who made the motion? I did. I'll second. It. I'll second. Oh. Okay, <laughs> we have two seconds. All in favor? <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. Wayne? Yep, aye. Okay, unanimous. Great, that's fantastic. Thank you. Okay. Item 11. Hans and Joel. This is for um, to Loganberry Lane. Yes. Okay. 
for some reason, I'm unable to find an icon on the bottom of the screen to be able to share my camera. Uh, but hopefully you can hear me okay. I can hear you, Hans. I can hear you, yes. yes. And I think I, this is Joel's uh, screen that we're looking at. Is that right? Yes. Okay. All right, so here we go. Um, so we have new construction. This is our first new construction of the year that's being proposed. Um, uh, you've seen, you've had some time to look at the site plans, the spec sheet, and the report. Um, this one, so it does come with, uh, it, it has to have a variance because the way the footprint mm -hmm. is defined is the amount of square footage, <clears throat> excuse me, yeah, the square footage at ground level. Um, What else here? Let me hop over to. So there are a couple of things. Uh, Hans has been really thorough with his site plans and following ACC policy. Uh, so we do have uh, several to examine. Uh, there's been a couple of clarifications from Hans, um, things that came up during the plan review. These are in my AC inspector notes. Plans have been reviewed and approved by Whatcom County. Um, among those inconsistencies, you know, we, uh, he did have a, a a driveway drawing, but it looked like it was a, a county driveway drawing, and it called for a uh, different radius depending on you know a county road. However, the Sun Valley roads are all privately owned, so he will follow the Appendix A by the 10 to 15 foot radius of curvatures to the driveway. Um, for the stormwater systems, there was a site plan that had the stormwater system out into the right of way, um, but we will be using the stormwater plan from, I, I think it's pronounced Lada, Lada, and the stormwater treatment trench will be located on entirely within the lot. Um, what else? Uh, the siding. So one of the things that's kind of common with the architectural drawing is it does, excuse me, it doesn't show the siding extending down to the finished grade and adherence with AC policy for concrete exposure. Um, so I let Hans know and he has agreed to fully comply with the, uh, let's see, which appendix is it? So we have a step foundation here, so we'll make sure, and that will be something we'll find, we look for on final inspection. So Joel, that yeah, uh, definitely. I think you're doing definition two for the height. That's 16 feet from the back there. Is that what it is? Uh, yes. Okay. That's correct. Yeah, this is, um, I'm kind of feeling bad for it. This, this, this would be one of my neighbors, and I've got a neighbor that's being boxed in by two houses that are like 10 feet higher than his house, at least. I, uh, I've seen that one that you're referring to, and it's very tall. <laughs> Yeah, it is. I'm going, I, be, I'm going to be much below because I'm at, at least 10 to 15 feet lower than the neighbor on that side who uh, his house is about 45 feet away from where my wall will be. I see. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, we count on Joel to keep an eye on those things. And, you know, sometimes... <laughs> They are the numbers probably should be different depending on different situations, but um, what I've seen from yours, it's you know well within that. It's just a luck of the draw that my poor neighbor has two houses built right up next to him. Um, so that is something that I want to make sure we do keep. You know, we make sure that's an accurate measurement and we stick to that.
No, what else? Uh, we do have, there will be a gravel pathway on the right side of the house and then step for retaining walls on the left side and in the front quarter uh, to reduce slopes that are greater than two to one. And you'll find those uh, in the landscaping plan. Um, you know, there's a lot, it's kind of gets busy here. Yeah, there it is. But, you know, you can see them here, here, and here. And those are just going to be, uh, you know, all on block retaining walls. No, you know. So those those are the plants that will be the restoration plants that are listed here, right? Yep. And these are okay. plants that come from the Whatcom, Lake Whatcom watershed planting worksheet. Okay. What else? Uh, so for ACC to consider, I mean, so I I don't have um, you know, anything else except, you know, it is uh, going through my check, our checklist here. It does appear to be, I think it, you know, meets all the ACC policies, but let's see, a couple, maybe a couple exceptions so that the concrete retaining wall at the rear of the home, you know, requires screening or exposed aggregate per AC policy. Uh, however, the owner would prefer to simply paint the concrete wall at the rear to match the, the house. And that's a, a special kind of concrete paint, right? It's... Yes, I in the uh, site plan summary page, uh, I actually specified that. Uh, that it would be concrete paint to okay. match the house siding. And um, I also added uh, a few other items on that site plan summary page uh, that uh, uh, to make sure that we comply with all of the uh, SVCA regulations. If you zoom in on the left side of that, right where your cursor is, uh, I added the notes to specify that the siding clearance from the uh, grade level has to be within the SVC uh, A ACC policy appendix G, uh, which is the 18 inches and 24 inches. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I also added that the um, uh, siding under the front and side decks will match the house siding where the exposed concrete is. Uh, so there'll actually be siding at those locations. Uh, and then the rear retaining wall, there's a small section that would be visible from the street, from the road, that that would be painted to match the house siding using exterior concrete paint. Okay. So I added those items just to make it official in the documentation that uh, we are going to abide by all of those policies. Is that a basketball hoop? Whoa, where was that? <clears throat> a basketball hoop, where is that? Over the garage. Uh, no, it looks like oh. a... Uh, Video camera, is that right? It's, yes, it's it's a security camera. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not drawn to scale. It the intent is to show the location of the lights and okay. the security okay. cameras. Okay. And why why the smaller footprint? I know that's a different item, but just and we'll talk yeah. about it now. That's I'm glad you asked that question because of the slope. Um, we had to limit the front to back distance uh, to keep it as small as possible. Mm -hmm. and, uh, so we kept it to 22 feet from at the base level of the house, which uh, you refer to as a footprint. So 22 feet from front to back. Uh, the second floor actually overhangs the first floor by two feet at the front. Uh, but uh, it's because of the slope that I wanted to maintain uh, as small of a distance as possible so we don't have to cut into the hillside. Yeah. Uh, and I, I think the, um, uh, again, I, I had a little uh, correspondence 
regarding this requirement on the uh, whether a variance is actually required or not. Um, I think the intent of the rule is the living space. I think the intent of the Sudden Valley policy is to uh, prevent someone from building a very small house under a thousand square feet. Uh, but because they put the word footprint in that uh, requirement, uh, it makes it sound like the living space requirement is limited or a requirement to be greater than a thousand square feet. It makes it sound like it has to be at the bottom floor of the house. Yeah, yeah, I, I think that that requires some clarification in our policies. Um, I don't have a problem with what we're calling this as a variance right now. Um, just curious as to what prompted it. Yeah, you know, under definitions, it says interior living space is the total area of all finished rooms within a structure measured according to a typical building trade conventions. So I would think that would take first and second floor as well then. Yeah, so I yeah. submitted the variance just because I didn't want to cause a delay. And, right. Uh, uh, so I just submitted it just to be cautious. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah, but uh, yeah, the language for the footprint, um, you know, we've been advised on is to, you know, that definition of footprint means at ground level square footage. So, uh, so I looked at it and I said, well, Hans, you know, submit a variance. I don't see, uh, you know, I mean, so when you're uh, considering variance and I, I think uh, Hans is probably correct that the intent of the policy is to, uh, you know, avoid smaller homes. But when you're considering the variance, consider does this house look like you know, look, look like that, but that's, that's up to you. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey. To, to be, uh, to, to jump through all the hoops and to, um, to do things correctly. It is, you know, it would be required in this strict definition. All right. Um, other things. So concrete retaining wall being painted, propane tank enclosure, diamond lattice, uh, wood grain texture. Um, well, I'm sorry, where's the, where's the tank? So the propane tank is going to be on the left side of the house. Where is it here? Go to page one of the uh, site plans. Yeah. Okay. My my site plans didn't drop in here, but I can pull it open. Hey Dan, while we're looking yeah. for, um, are we for the for the minimum footprint? I'm I'm reading fourteen point six point one. It says minimum interior living space, so it just says minimum finished interior footprint is a thousand square feet. So the way I read that is, it doesn't matter where your footprint is; it's just minimum thousand finished square square feet, right? So I don't I don't see why there's a variance required. Yeah, it's because of the, I think technically there is, but I mean I don't think we have an issue with it. Yeah, it's it's uh it's because of the definition of the word footprint being at ground level. Oh, I didn't I didn't read it as ground level. It just says minimum finished interior. So that's that's the way I interpret. So right, right. Giant. I've I've been advised that it is at ground level. <laughs> I don't. I don't disagree. I don't disagree with you, Wayne. Yep. Yes. But, uh, yeah. Semantics. Semantics. Yeah. And I. And I, I think. And I hope that uh, when the ACC policies get updated, there is a, a clearer, or, you know, it's. I hope it's well defined. Yeah. Um. So the tank is that in the back of the house? No, it'll be on the left side of the house. Okay. I. I would like to see something more substantial than, like a plastic pressed. Uh, lattice. Um, in the past, we've required um, a wooden, a thicker wooden, not cheap lattice to go in front of, you know, they, they cover patios sometimes. Um, it would be nice to see a more substantial lattice rather than just a plastic piece up there. If it's going to be visible from the street. 
Whatever you suggest, I will do. Okay, I appreciate that. Uh, you know, is a is a wooden lattice satisfactory, or is there a, a, something? I, I think that's a preference. It, I, I've seen some of the plastic ones, and they, I don't personally, I don't like the way they look, and I, uh, I would like to see the the wooden lattice. Okay, the only reason I had picked the press plastic lattice was because it came in a gray color that happened to match the house. Mm. Uh, so I figured we wouldn't have to paint it frequently, but I can go with a real wood, no problem. Yeah, if it's gonna be visible from the street. Now, do you want it painted or should I leave it natural wood? I would like to see it painted like the okay. house. Okay, so I'll paint it to match the, I'll change that lattice to a, um, it's still called a gray diamond lattice yeah, it's that's fine. Wood grain texture, it's real wood. Yeah. Or yeah. cedar, probably. Yeah. Okay. Did you want to go with the lattice or with a uh, just a oh. short fence? I, I have um, a uh, dogwood plant on my landscaping plan that's going to be planted in front of that as well. Um, but um, I think it would look better to be lattice than solid wood. Yeah, I, I, I'd be okay with either one, as you're long as it's not visible and we're looking at some cheap plastic. You're the neighbor, Daniel. You tell me what you want. <laughs> yeah, I think that would be more consistent with what we what we have existing. Okay. And uh, Joel, no concerns about that big slope on the side of the house at all. Where? Um, the left side? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's, uh, it, so there were gonna be slopes that are greater than two to one. Um, and uh, Hans came, so I asked Hans for the elevation of the finished grade at each wall, and he provided those. And then it appeared there were gonna be slopes that were greater than two to one on the left side of the house. And so he has corrected that with the addition of those retaining walls, those stepped retaining walls. Where do we go here on the landscape plan? Oh, so I see. If, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So if, if you'd imagine those stepped up three and a half feet max, then we're, you know, it should be, should be acceptable. Okay. Um, and then the final item, oh yeah, is, is, is the variance. Um, but I have no other, I can't find any other um, incongruencies with the ACC policies. Okay. Any other comments, team? No. So we've got two things we are looking at, the variance and the actual building. So let's look at item. Item 11, new construction. Can I get a motion? Move to approve. Can I get a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous. And item 12, the variance request. Move to approve. Can I get a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, Wayne? Yeah, I said aye. Okay. okay. Unanimous. Welcome to the neighborhood. Well, thank you. And I look forward to meeting you in person, Daniel and, uh, and Joe Jean and uh, Patrick and uh, Wayne. Look forward to meeting you, and I appreciate the work you guys do on the uh, Southern Valley uh, Commissions. Uh, I know it's a lot of work because you've got to do a lot of homework before these meetings. So thank well, you. Well, pretty soon we're going to ask you to join us. <laughs> <laughs> Look for that invitation. Uh, we scared him. Oh, no, I'm still here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, thank you for this mission. Thank you.
All right, item 14, tree removal, 10 honeycomb. Any comments? Any motions? I move to approve. I second. All, second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Item 15, 16 Baywood Court, tree removal. I move to approve. Wayne to second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, unanimous. Can we steer you? All right, we didn't do 10, item 10, did we? 10 nope. wisteria? No. Nope. Paint? Wayne, Wayne to move to approve. Can I get a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, now we've got item eight, 106 Harbor View Drive, extension and reapproval. Diane, is there anyone here for that? No, Hans and Moises are still here. I guess. Okay. okay. All right. Let's see. This is another one where there was a gap and um, asking for an extension. <laughs> so there will be a fine for that, for applying for an extension. The first extension, um, so they're asking for a first extension. So I guess the motion is to approve six months from today for the first extension. Can I get a second? Wayne, the second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Unanimous. Three. Item three. Move to approve. Which one, Diane? Item three. Oh, yeah, right. Okay. All second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. That you too, Patrick? Yep. Okay. Unanimous. All right, I think that's everything, right? Yes. Okay. Um, we are ending this meeting at 1058.